Welcome back, I'm George, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your new iPhone 17 or 17 Pro. And of course, we are going to go slowly, step by step, so you do it the right way and you don't miss anything in the process. So first of all, whether you have an iPhone 17 Pro or 17, the process is going to be the same on both. The first thing you have to do is to turn on the phone. For that, you have to press and hold on the side button right here on the right side until you see an Apple logo. Once you see it, you'll just have to wait a couple seconds and eventually you'll be greeted with the main page of the setup process. There we go. As you can see, it says hello. Once you're here, all you have to do is to swipe from the bottom like this and the process has already begun. Once you're here, the first thing you need to do is to choose your language, which in my case is going to be English. Let's tap right here. And then you have to choose your country or region, which in my case is going to be United States. But here you can choose any other country, it doesn't matter. You have the whole list with every country on the planet. Once you do that, you'll be able to choose the appearance of your phone or how you would like the text and icons to look on your phone, ranging from default to medium, which is going to make things a little bit bigger, and large, which is going to make things even bigger. Now, if you're not sure which one to go for, I recommend you go for medium because it is a good middle ground and it offers great readability without making things way too big. Now let's tap on continue. Once you do this, you'll be able to set up your iPhone using another device. But in this video, for the sake of doing things right, I'm going to set it up without another device, manually, step by step. Let's tap right here. Of course, you'll be able to choose your Wi-Fi network. In this case, it is the same process as with every other device. You just have to select your Wi-Fi network and then type in the password. You'll then have to wait a couple seconds and automatically you'll see it right here at the top. The Wi-Fi icon is going to show up indicating that you are connected to the internet. Let's tap on continue. It is going to take a couple minutes to activate the phone and after it is going to greet you with a software update. Now, something that I always recommend when setting up your phone is that you leave software updates for later because when you do the software update while performing the setup process, it can lead to some bugs and issues. So once again, I think we should do it later in the settings. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it and where to find the software update. So let's tap on update later. Then we get access to the data and privacy pop-up, which is going to essentially explain Apple's data and privacy policy, which you can only uh, except by tapping on continue right here. And that's the only option. So let's type on continue. Then it's going to let you choose the age range of the person that's going to use the phone, ranging from child to teenager to adult, which is anybody that's 18 or more. So let's tap on adult. Next up, we have the option to set up face ID, which is the main security measure for the iPhone. It essentially ensures that only you can access your phone by analyzing your face. I highly recommend you turn on Face ID. To do it, all you have to do is tap on Continue, then tap on Get Started, and then, as you can see, it is going to show a pop-up with uh, the front-facing camera that you then have to point at your face. There we go, let's move a little higher. And then you essentially have to perform a circle with your face, there we go. Now it is also going to give you the option to use Face ID with a mask, which would require a secondary scan. But if you don't plan on using the phone with a mask, you can just tap on don't use Face ID with a mask and you will be done with Face ID. Now moving on, we also have to create an iPhone passcode to go along with Face ID because sometimes, even though this is not the norm, Face ID can fail and we would need a backup method to unlock the device. Now, as you can see, by default, we have to add a six digit code with numbers, but something very few people know is that if you swipe down like this, you get passcode options. In this case, ranging from a custom alphanumeric code that can be as long as you want, 
or a custom numeric code that can be as long as you want, a four digit numeric code or the default six digit numeric code option. So in this case, we are going to leave the default six digit number code, but you should know that there's more options. If you want to add more security, you can do it. Now, in this case, you'll have to add the password twice. There we go. And once you do it, it will become your default iPhone password. And well, you better remember that number because it is going to be necessary to unlock your device or even make app purchases or change some settings. So once again, be careful. Do not forget that number. Now, moving on, we also get the option to transfer your apps and data. In this case, from an iCloud backup, from another iPhone, from a Mac or PC, or from an Android phone. But in this case, I want to show you how to set the phone up step by step. So we are going to do it without transferring anything from any other device. Let's tap right here at the bottom. Now, once that's done, as you can see, the phone is going to ask you to create or sign in to your Apple account, which is going to be a necessary step so you can download apps and do many other things with your phone. It is something that I highly recommend you do. Now, that being said, some people don't want to create an Apple account, or maybe they don't want to do it just now, they want to do it later. So for those people, I recommend you tap right here on forgot password, and then tap on set up later in settings. If you tap right there, the phone is going to let you off the hook so you can keep setting up the phone without an Apple account. But once again, I heavily recommend you set it up. So in this case, let's swipe back. If you have other Apple devices, you should probably already have one. So you'll just have to add your email and password and be done with your current pre-existing Apple account. But if you don't have an Apple account, you have to tap once again right here on forgot password and tap on create a free Apple account. It is going to ask you to add your name, your uh, birthday, create or include an email address and some more information, and you'll be done in a couple minutes. It is not a hard process by any means. Now, something you should also know is that if you choose to add a pre-existing Apple account you have on other devices, Apple will send a code to one of your other devices that you will have to paste on your new iPhone. So if that's the case, if you have other Apple devices with an Apple account and you choose to use that Apple account, you should probably have at least one of those devices at hand so you can access the code, paste it on the new iPhone and be done setting up your Apple account. Now, once that's done, you'll be greeted with the main terms and conditions for the iPhone. If you tap on disagree, you'll be sent back to the Apple account menu and you'll have to type in your Apple account again, which is very inconvenient. So I suggest you trust that they are not going to do anything too sketchy and press agree. Once that's done, it is going to take a couple seconds to set up your Apple account in case you've created or used a pre-existing one. Then Apple will essentially tell you which data is going to be transferred from your Apple account into the new phone. In this case, it is going to uh, transfer some settings and wallet uh, cards that I have on other Apple devices. Let's tap on continue. Then it is going to give you the option to transfer your phone number from another iPhone, which is a very simple process. Now, in this case, if you don't have an old iPhone, I recommend you tap on set up later. But if you do have an old iPhone you were using before, it is once again a very simple process. All you have to do is to tap on transfer from iPhone. Then you'll see your phone number. So you can select it, tap on continue. And then finally, you'll be able to tap on transfer. Oh, and well, you'll also have to confirm on the old iPhone for extra security. Once that's done, you have the option to share iPhone analytics with Apple. So if you want to share your data with Apple, you can tap on the blue button. But if you don't want Apple taking a look at what's on your phone, you can tap on the button that's below that says don't share. So Apple doesn't have the option to see what's on your phone. Now, uh, you can also enable Apple intelligence, which is a new AI feature available for new iPhones. And well, in this case, I do recommend you turn it on because it is a very simple process 
and it adds some extra functionality to the iPhone. So let's tap set up Apple intelligence. Let's tap not now, not now. And finally, let's tap on continue right here. Once that's done, you'll have the option to customize your action button, which as you can see is this little button right here at the top left. Now, if you don't want to customize it or use it, you can tap on not now, but I think you should customize it because it adds great functionality to the phone. Then you'll see the emergency SOS page, which is just a banner telling you what the iPhone can do. So you can only tap on continue. And once that's done, you'll be welcomed to your new iPhone. So you can tap right here at the bottom where it says get started. And just like that, you'll have a fully functional iPhone 17 or 17 Pro. Now that being said, and as you probably remember, there were some things that I didn't do during the setup process, but that I said I was going to do later in the settings. So let's do those things. First of all, you have to tap right here on the settings app, then swipe down to general. There we go. And then tap on software update. Here is where I recommend you access the latest software updates and update your phone. You'll see very likely there is an iOS update available for you. So you can just tap on update now, then type in your password and you'll be done. The phone is going to take a couple minutes to update and you'll have the latest version of iOS. Now, that being said, for the future, so you don't have to keep coming back to the software update page, I recommend you tap on automatic updates and make sure that automatically installed is enabled. This way, the phone is automatically going to install all of the latest software updates, so you don't have to think about it and you don't have to come every couple weeks to the software update page and update the phone. It is all going to happen automatically. But anyways, that is everything you needed to know on how to set up your iPhone 17 or 17 Pro. If you have any questions regarding anything I've said in the video, please tell me in the comments. And if not, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again very soon. Peace.